We're here with Mark Noblet, Noblet Cycles. He's out of Longmont, Colorado. And uh, we're talking uh, with him about a couple of different brands that he works with. First, his own name brand, uh, Noblet. Let's take a look here. It looks like you've brought a, a couple different styles of frames. Uh, let's see a cyclocross, or is that a mountain bike frame? Is that well, a mountain bike frame? Well, this is a mountain, no, just yeah, hardtail mountain frame. Uh-huh. Uh, TIG wallets. I brought a couple of lower end road mountain frames to just show TIG versions. Yep. Uh, but I also offer fillet braised and lugged, which is becoming obviously very popular. Yep. And what I started with, uh, you know, 35 years ago when I first started building. Uh, now this is an interesting frame here because we've got the very modern 853 Reynolds tubing with these these lugs. Are these lugs that are that were these shaped by you? Did you do well, these? Well, I made them from scratch, uh -huh. just wow. like I do on the other bikes over here. Um, yeah, start with tubes, you know, and weld and braze and shape and hollow out and yep. solder together like a normal lug. Yep. Uh, but it allows me to, you know, be very creative, you know, it gives me a lot more material to work with. Uh, it's kind of a thing I just got into for fun initially, but uh, it's get, uh, got me a lot of attention. And, you know, some other builders have started to do them too, so uh, you know, I'll, I'll do a, a few. Yep. But, you know, the Rennie, well, I don't want to, you know, distract from what we're talking about here, but uh, the Rennie Airs are, you know, they started, they were kind of the ones that started doing their own handmade lugs. Yep. They didn't just buy them like all the other builders, they just, uh, they made their own, so. Uh, the Rene Airs is a French company? They're more of the pioneer in that than I am. Were they a French company? Yes. Yep. Yeah, Paris. <laughs> and, uh, so now you've brought, you've, you're building, this is a modern frame. This is not a, a, a vintage. Is this one that right, you just recently is, uh, built? Yeah, well, it's uh, probably a little over a year old. Okay. Yeah. And uh, painted by Brian Bayless and lettered by oh, wow. some, some guy, local guy, actually. Uh, I'm not sure somebody that Joe Bell uh -huh. knows. Okay. So what would be like for someone who's uh, looking at either either a Noblet or a Harris? What's the what would be the difference? What you know like what, how would you compare one of your frames to well, this brand that you build? Yeah, Harris is going to be more traditional designs. You know, going back to 40s or 50s even. Uh huh. You know, and a lot of those will be. 650 B wheel bikes. Okay. You know, randonneuring type bikes. Yep. Uh, or, you know, load carrying bikes. Yep. Uh, you know, my emphasis has generally been on racing bikes over the years. Okay. I used to, I raced in the 70s out here in California. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, that's what got me interested in bikes to begin with. So, uh, building frames. Okay. So, uh, you know that's that's where my emphasis is, and and in mountain bikes too. You know, I I raced a little bit of mountain bike in the '80s. Yep. Uh, so that these are all pretty much racing bikes here. But you know, I have started to branch out or back into you know the lug work again. Yep. So you're being and just to, for fun to make big exotic or you know one-off kind of stuff. So you're able to balance. I mean, because this frame here, I mean, it's it's really beautiful because it's a, you're able to take a a classic lugged frame and balance it with you know modern tubing, which probably would be I would imagine a pretty light steel bike with the eight five three. Yeah, I mean it's you know not extremely light, but you know it's it's lighter than bikes of you know of the past. Right. You know, so, right. Uh, uh, but you know, there isn't a huge difference still. Yeah. You know, bikes haven't really. You know, the, the material for steel bikes really hasn't changed all that much uh -huh. in the past 30 years, you know, 35 years. So, yep. uh, uh, you know, there's more heat treating, but uh, you know, the weights. There's always been lightweight tubing. Airs built frames out of uh, Reynolds uh, tubing that was three tenths of a millimeter thick, just straight gauge stuff. Yep. So they were making these crazy light bikes back in the, you know, 50s, yep. and uh, you know, but they were made for trials, these uh, uh, technical trials, and yep. you know, they certainly weren't going to hold up very well over a long, over the long haul. Sure. And they weren't made for carrying lots of weight. So, sure. 
So, you know, it, it's, but it's still just as impractical to have that lightweight of tubing now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, most of your weight advantages now are, are um, components. Componentry? Yeah. Yep. So, you know, but, and, yeah, anyway, I mean, we're still within a pound, pound and a half, probably, of, you know, the lightest materials when we want to be, at least. Yep. Uh, so. Excellent. Well, if you're looking for a builder who has a really good background building both traditional bikes, also full-on race, steel race bikes with beautiful lug work, Mark Noblet. Noblet Cycles, he also works with Airs and uh, Boulder Bicycles. He's near Boulder, Colorado, so check him out. Thanks a lot, Mark. Appreciate hey, thanks it. thanks a lot. All right.